100 for 100. The podcast for all you new movie watchers out there, or if you just like listen to the podcast about movies, I guess, where I take the 100 movies that I think any new film goer needs to add to their repertoire, to their resume of films watched. And then I rank them from 100 to 1 uh, because I like spending sleepless nights thinking about film. Uh, each one of these accompanied with it is a 100 word review. That's why this show is called what it is called. And it is called 100 for 100. And it's hosted by me, yours truly, uh, Seed, the uh, creator of the show, Creative Paprika Podcast Network, of which there are many fine pop culture shows. Yesterday, we talked about a little joint called Iron Man. It was the 82 spot yesterday. Came out in 2008, man. Everybody knows what Iron Man is. Like We're in, a, we're in an age now where everyone knows what Iron Man is. Uh, this number 81 spot, however, we got to go back uh, a couple years. 1995 is what we go back to. Joint directed by F. Gary Gray called Friday. I love this movie. Fucking love Friday. Uh, and the 100 word review that accompanies it is as such <clears throat> coming off a slew of 90s films about the dangerous lifestyle of california streets friday is a refreshing look at a cali suburb as seen through the eyes of craig a stuck in a rut man who just lost his job on his day off accompanying craig is his best friend Smokey. Chris Tucker in a career defining performance determined to make sure Craig relaxes and enjoys the start of a good weekend between confrontations with local drug dealer, big worm neighborhood chain snatch and bully Debo and Craig's affable advances at Debbie Friday remains one of the funniest and endearing films about African-American life. Every black person loves Friday because Friday is that shit. <laughs> it's such a fun, funny, quotable movie. I think this is one of the funniest movies of all time. The film that gave us Chris Tucker. It showed Ice Cube in a completely different light than Boys in the Hood did, which had only come out a handful of years prior, if I remember, like maybe 91, 92. Uh, Friday is, to me, the comedic version of Do the Right Thing. Both take place over the course of one day. And both feature characters that have to essentially choose to do the right thing. In this case, in the case of Friday, it's Craig's choice not to shoot Debo, but to fight him hand to hand, man to man, and win. And which gives us the great John Witherspoon scene, you live to fight another day. There are nuggets of wisdom throughout this, this comedy, I do believe. Um, and there's no way to, to talk about a favorite scene in this movie. You ask 10 different people... You're liable to get 10 different answers, I think. Uh, Red crying about his chain getting snatched. My grandmama gave me that chain. Uh, you know, people getting knocked the fuck out. Smokey taking the shit and getting called out for it. Bernie Mac's appearance with a little 20 twin twin. Uh, by Felicia. It's impossible to call what the greatest scene in this movie is. It, and it's, it's, it really is a slice of life type movie. It just happens on a guy who got fired on his day off because he got caught stealing boxes. What was he trying to build a clubhouse? We'll never know. But uh, one of the reasons this movie works so well is the juxtaposition between Craig's fairly laid back demeanor. He's a, he's a pretty chill dude in this movie and his best friend, Smokey, who was nothing but just manic balled up energy. He is Chris Tucker is a living cartoon. I think in this film he moves like a cartoon he talks like a cartoon he reacts to things like a cartoon um and it's it's their differences they are like the black odd couple and it's their differences that play off of each other that make for a lot of good friendship it makes for a lot of great laughs um I always called Smokey he is a friend of the year man he is just there to get Craig's minds off his woes of now not having a job uh, Smokey has his own problems too. He's got to take care of. He shouldn't have smoked up big worm stuff. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Friday is the movie that everyone, you know, people say, "Oh, that's a black movie." You know, it's a movie for for African American people, and maybe that's right. Maybe that's completely true. I still think that there is enough broad humor that doesn't rely on quote unquote blackness to uh, to to just enjoy the movie for what it is. So if you've never seen Friday. Enjoy it for what it is, man. 1995, F. Gary Gray holding down a number 81 spot. It is Friday. <laughs>